Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss parallel and serial out shift register. So let's get started. In the previous videos, we have already discussed serial in serial out (SISO), serial in parallel out (SIPO). In this video, we are going to discuss parallel in serial out (that is PISO). So I will explain the functions and its applications and the circuit diagram also. So let's get started. So if you see here, this is the functionality of PISO (PISO). So that is name itself suggests the parallel in the inputs are taken in parallel order and serial out. The outputs are gone in a serial manner. So at a time, all the inputs are taken. So we can have all the loaded, all the input loads at one clock cycle, and we are taking one by one as serial output. So that is known as the four means we can have the four clock cycles to take all the outputs from the flow four flip flops. So in general, if you consider, this is the block diagram of PISO shift register. So we have total four inputs because we are discussing for four bit. We have four bit parallel inputs and one serial output. So block diagram is this. And in PISO shift register, we have mainly two tasks to to be completed. So the first one, first task is load parallel data. So that is the thing parallel input. So we have to load the parallel data. And second thing is shift load data at output serially. So that is the thing because we have to take serial output. So the first one can be obtained with the help of load mode in the circuit diagram, and second one that can be obtained with the help of shift mode in the circuit diagram. So now I will construct the circuit diagram so that you can understand. So what is meant by load mode and shift mode? Basically, these are nothing but the two operations that we are doing here. That is parallel in and serial out. That is nothing but load load mode shift mode. So parallel in is equal to load mode and shift mode is equal to serial out. Now I will start constructing the PISO shift register. For that, I need four D flip flops, and all the flip flops are synchronized with the clock. After that, I will take a enable called shift comma load bar. So shift is active high, load is active low, and we are going to take the bar also for that. So this is the main input that we are going to decide which one is which is the thing, or which one we are going to perform. Whether we are going to perform the loading or we are going to perform the shifting. Now, as shown, like you are going to take the this combination. So basically, this combination is multiplexer combination, means two cross one multiplexer. But I will show exactly the circuit diagram itself. So that is basically two AND gates is attached with the OR gate. So basically, you are going to take like that combination three combinations. Now I will also show how to connect all of them. So one one connection I am showing. First of all, we are going to take parallel input. That is B not B one B two B three R R parallel inputs. For that, we are going to take D3 as directly B0, and next inputs are taken as from the second AND gates of each combination. You can see clearly we have the combination right. In that combination, we have second AND gate right. So in the second AND gate, we are going to have one of the input that is B1, B2, B3, and each output of the OR gate is directly added as input. So that first combination output is D2. Second output combination output is D1. Like that, third combination output is connected directly to D0. And I also joined the red red ones. Means the second AND gate is directly connected with the shift shift comma load bar. That is the complement one. You can see the second combination is also directly attached with the bar, the complement one. The third combination is also directly attached with the complement of shift load. The next connections that we are going to make is the connections of the first AND gate. The four means for every combination. If you connect if you connect that blue blue wire to the blue wire, that is directly shift load. That is the thing in the second combination also you should connect directly to that shift load. The third combination also you should connect. And second input for the AND gate for the co first combination you should for directly connect it to the output of Q3. So you should you you can see and relate them. So Q3 is directly connected to the second input of second combination AND gate. So Q1 is directly connected to the third combination of the first AND gate like that you are going to connect. So this is the whole complete circuit. And one important thing here. So shift comma load when is equals to zero. If you pass that enable as zero, then it performs the load mode. Now we will understand what is meant by load mode. So load mode is nothing but we are going to load our inputs, the upcoming inputs. That is B not B one B two B three. That inputs we are going to load into the flip flops or the shift register. We are going to load. So how we can load that in a parallel manner, parallel in. For that you are going to pass that shift comma load as zero. That enable line as zero. So you can observe that for each combination, that each combination, the first AND gate output becomes zero. 
so means that the q3 q2 q1 outputs are not entering the next flip flop means there is no shifting there is only loading we are loading so you can observe the b not is directly loaded in the first flip flop so b1 is the, means with the second and gate combination we are loading in the second flip flop that is d2 so the b2 is also loaded in the d1 means the third flip flop the b3 is also loaded in the fourth flip flop that is d0 so basically if you have the shift comma load as zero we are performing load mode basically this is the thing that i am saying about you can basically remove all the remaining things and this is the load mode loading data in parallel order or parallel in when shift comma load is equals to 1 then we are going to perform the shift mode so what is meant by shift mode basically this is nothing but serial out now we are going to understand that for that you are going to pass shift comma load as 1 so if you see that the complement becomes 0 so the blue line becomes high that is 1 so the each and every combination the first and gate becomes high the second and gate becomes low means that is not propagated basically you can see that so b1 b2 b3 the inputs are not loaded so just the q3 is entering the d2 the second flip flop q2 is entering to the next flip flop q1 is entering to the next flip flop d1 so in this manner i have highlighted in the blue box also like blue manner so q3 is directly entering there so basically this is the thing so after all the thing the b0 if you are applying q3 will be propagated to second flip flop q2 will be propagated to second next one so q1 will be finally going to d0 so what is meant by this this is the serial out when shift comma load is equal to 1 you are going to perform the shift mode and ignore the remaining things so basically i hope you understood what is the parallel in serial out with the help of circuit diagram so for the piso shift register we need one clock for while storing data and n minus one clocks to use the data and n clocks are used for total processing of the data and finally these are the some of the applications of piso shift register so the applications are sensor data acquisition input pin expansion of microcontrollers data transmission time delay circuits memory access serial communication so i gave the headings so if you want more detailed things about that i gave a small bit of information about that so please check it out i hope you understood this video thanks for watching up to now